What's up everyone, welcome to this new video, my name is David Fritz and in this video we're gonna talk today about the secret weapon you have to use as a music producer to make your mixes sound almost as professional as the big music producers. I'm not gonna wait for ages to explain you this technique because I think it's a really powerful one and if you use this technique every single time when you think a track you produced has potential your tracks are gonna get better and better and your mixing skills are gonna improve. But before I share this technique with you guys, I have to let you know that this technique needs practice. So when you do this once, you can't expect to get the same results if you've done it a hundred, a thousand times. This is a technique you have to practice. It's something to master, it's something to get better in. But I promise you, if you do this consistently for a good amount of time, a consistent amount of time, you're gonna get better and your mixes are gonna sound almost as professional, maybe even more professional than the professional music producers or audio engineers. So I'm pretty sure we all had this problem once that we produced the track and it sounded really amazing on studio headphones and then we exported the file and then played it on a JBL speaker or a normal headphones or on your phone and the mixing, it was absolute rank. Basically, what happened here was that you didn't properly reference it, you didn't properly reference the track to make it sound really good because a studio headphone, in studio headphones, almost everything, especially if you're a new producer, sounds absolutely amazing. So what you have to do is use a reference track. So what I do usually, when I know that a track has big potential, I'm going on Beatport or on Spotify and I download a track which sounds similar to the one I've produced. What I do then in FL Studio is I try to bring say, the both songs into the, to the same volume. So the track I bought, put the volume down because that's usually mastered and it's way louder than the one you just produced. And then I mute my track and listen very carefully to the track what I just bought, the reference track. Then I mute the reference track and listen to my track. So I mute both of them in comparison constantly and try to compare what is the difference? Why is my why does my sound different? Is my clap too loud? Is my bass too loud? Is my kick too loud? What exactly is good about the mix? What is bad about the mix? So I have this constant comparison between the professionally released track and my own track. What I do then as well, I put a high pass or a low pass filter on the master channel so I can listen carefully to each single frequencies and listen to what exactly is good, what is too loud, what is too quiet, what needs to be boosted, maybe even what needs more saturation, what needs more reverb. You have a, a really good comparison, but I have to let you know, this is something which takes practice, so don't expect an amazing result after the first day. But I'm gonna promise you, if you do this for a consistent amount of time, your mixes are gonna sound way more professional. At some point as well, you will not even need so many reference tracks. You're just gonna have this natural skill of knowing what is too loud, what is too quiet, what needs to be boosted, what needs to be reduced, which frequency needs to be reduced. Anyway guys, that was the video. I hope I could give you a little bit of a tip of what, how you can actually make your mixes sound more professional. Give this video a thumbs up and also comment below what is the area where you think you want to improve in the most in your music production career. Um, just hit me up. I'm also on Instagram. All the links are in the description. Also the outro song and my Spotify is in the description. So make sure you check that out. Other than that, guys, I hope you have a beautiful 2023. I'm going to speak to you guys soon. I'm going to, there's going to be heaps of more videos coming the next weeks. I'm going to also soon jump into FL Studio. So we're going to actually go into practice. We're going to produce a few things. I'm going to show you a few tracks which got released by labels, how I actually produce them. I'm going to give you more details as well. So you can definitely be excited about that. Other than that, I hope you have a beautiful day.